Hello, hello everyone. This is Dr. Duggan, primary care doc, trained in both adolescent and family medicine, here to talk today on the topic of PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome. So a patient may come in with complaints of irregular periods. Doc, it's been two months, been four months, six months since I've even seen my period and I know I'm not pregnant. Could this be PCOS? So there are a few reasons why it's important to know if we're dealing with PCOS or not. One, issues with fertility. Ladies may have a hard time conceiving or may not be able to conceive at all because they don't ovulate normally. Secondly, there may be other health issues that can develop as a result of PCOS if a lady is overweight or obese, like diabetes, elevated cholesterol, fatty liver, etc. There's also the risk of in, um, endometrial cancer, rather, because the lining of the uterus doesn't normally shed. And lastly, it may also contribute to depression. So these are some reasons we want to know, are we dealing with PCOS? So clinically, there are some signs and symptoms that we can look out for. Number one, we discuss the irregular periods. So typically, our periods are anywhere from three weeks to about six weeks or so apart. So in our ladies with PCOS, they may have periods that come before that. They have, may have periods that are much later than that. And they just really can't predict when they'll have a cycle. And with that, you know, their bleeding may be just spotty a little bit. It may be like a regular period or it may be super heavy if it's been a while since their period came on. So that can be one sign that we're dealing with PCOS. Number two, acne. Acne that's hard to control. So your typical things like over the counters, um, some of the antibiotics you may take by mouth or actually use topically just don't work. So again, that can be a sign that now we're dealing with PCOS. Number three, number three, um, that one deals with hair, hair that's growing everywhere. So we're talking about a beard. We have some mustache action going on. My chest, my lower stomach, just hair in places where ladies wouldn't normally expect it to be, where they actually have to shave and wax and really keep up with the maintenance of it um, because that's how fast it's growing. That can be due to... Um, androgens or hormones like testosterone that are higher than they typically are expected to be in our female patients. Next, obesity or being overweight. Has my weight changed? It could be sometimes rapidly, other times gradually. So we're looking at, okay, 10, 20, you know, where is this weight coming from? It could be with PCOS. OK, um, that's why lifestyle is a huge part of treatment in terms of how is our diet and nutrition, how is our exercise or how active are we able to be? Because that's really going to be important in helping to decrease the risk of other health issues as um, we deal with this issue of PCOS. Sometimes in my teens, I can see what's um, called acanthosis nigricans. That's when the neck has almost a thick, um, velvety-like discoloration to it that doesn't come off when they're trying to wash their neck or even sometimes under their arms. That can be a sign of insulin resistance and an early sign that, hey, we're at risk for developing diabetes, so we got to make some changes and we got to do them sooner than later. Okay. And then lastly... Okay, is this in the family? Do we have aunties, cousins, my mama, many women that may have dealt with or be dealing with irregular periods, but no one really talked about it? There could be a history in the family of undiagnosed PCOS. So it's good to know that history, that background as well. I hope this has been helpful for you. I hope that you learned something new. If so, please subscribe or follow me 
on YouTube and IG at Loretta Duggan, MD, and also on Facebook, Dr. Loretta Duggan. Until next time, here in health. Bye.